Hello, everyone. Welcome into the Prep for Soul Alone Show, Season 9, Wrap-Up Show, uh, Episode 6, uh, titled The Weasel. And you will know why uh, that episode is named that, you know, here in a bit. But um, another good episode, uh, no eliminations on Episode 6. So kind of more setting the tone of what's going on, a lot of, you know, weight loss once again. So a lot of that coming into play uh, this episode, plus some new animals too as well we haven't uh, seen before um, in the show. So we'll get all into that. And, uh, you know, previously on uh, episode five, we did have an elimination. Benji was eliminated um, in episode five. Uh, Remember he had a fever and uh, was thrown up all night and he has to make the call and get the medical attention. So move into episode six. Uh, we ended episode five at day 27. So we kind of pick it up at day 28. So we'll start there. Uh, as usual, you can follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, post a little bit there at Prepper Soul. I need to kind of uh, update some things. I've been in really busy the last couple of uh, weeks. Uh, moving in things, so getting back on track, getting these episodes knocked out, and going to be epi- and updating my uh, rankings and uh, the odds on who I think are going is going to win. So um, I'll get all that updated. But um, as usual, if you could uh, subscribe, click a like button, helps the algorithm, that kind of thing. So uh, that would be you know very appreciated. So uh, we will jump into day twenty eight. We kick off the episode. And we begin with Terry, who is actually uh, building a smoker for his beaver. So he really has to preserve preserve this meat that he's uh, cooked. And, uh, you know, a little quick fact there. It looks like, you know, Terry's lost about 35 pounds, 32 pounds since the show has started. And uh, he's actually eating like a beaver skull. So he's actually eating like the fat of that beaver skull. And uh, I'm actually going to play that here. Bear me one second here while this kind of loads up. Um, get episode. Bear me one second here. I'll, and I'll get that shared up here. I'll get that beaver here. One second here. All right. Go ahead and share my screen as well. As usual, these things. Uh, there we are. There's that beaver skull that he's uh, munching on. And, and that's the thing about uh, these guys. They, you know, when they do kill an animal, they're going to use every single piece of the animal kind of the way like the native americans did uh you know in the early days is when they killed buffalo they would pres- they would use every single there was some sort of use out of every single part of that animal and that's exactly what you know these guys do which is you know remarkable you know this day and age um and being able to just use every single piece of the animal and not letting anything go to waste um is, is awesome and um just big ups to all the people that are on this show that are uh, preserving, you know, the wildlife and they're, you know, thankful for the land. I think it's, I think it's awesome. And it goes underappreciated, uh, you know, this time and in, in this, this time of, uh, in the age we kind of live in. So uh, he's, he's eating, you know, this beaver skull here, you know, eating all the fat off of there. And then he begins to preserve the meat. And uh, so he's, you know, definitely, you know, cutting up that meat. And he is preparing this, uh, putting this poker. Yeah. And he also, you know, here's a whiskey jack and they kind of, uh, they when they hear food, you know, they make a loud screech noise. So they're letting other, you know, 
predators know and that they're going to be, you know, there's food around those kind of things. So he's definitely aware of this, you know, this whiskey jack bird that is, uh, you know, one his food there. Yeah, there's that. There's the smoker. So there, this is what he's built. He's got the, you know, the meat, you know, there on on these uh, strings there. So he's gonna definitely smoke that meat, get it ready, get some jerky type, you know, meat that he has. Yeah, there we go. Smoking up that meat. And this is kind of able to preserve that meat. Uh, so he's, he's doing that. And then we move on to day 28, Tom. Here he is. He's actually making some earrings for his his girl or his wife uh, just to kind of let her know that he's thinking of her. And um, he's actually going to go check on his traps. And so he's going to trap, go to his his traps on, on the day. And he has kind of nothing in any of his traps. But... Um, he does see a number of beaver trails around as he's looking for these traps. So uh, he's definitely getting the idea of going to go hunt a beaver. So uh, we'll see how that plays out, you know, in the coming days there. And we're moving to day 28 uh, to Mojin. And um, so let's see. This is him here, I believe. Yep, this is him here. He's actually, he ends up hearing um, some mice and he's actually give up fishing. He hasn't had any success um, fishing lately. So uh, he has given that up and he's just going to focus on small games. So he's making um, a number of traps here. And he's also noticed that the water level of the lake has dropped significantly, which is going to affect his, um, you know, way to fish. So uh, he's, you know, he's kind of giving that up. Um, and then in the distance, he definitely, you know, he hears a grouse um, and he's going to go shoot this grouse, uh, but he misses and he shoots a second time and also misses. And then his arrow gets stuck up. He says about 20 feet high in a tree. Um, so he is... Um, going to make an attempt to retrieve this uh, this arrow, which you know climbing twenty feet, you know in the air in a tree is uh, you know definitely a big risk uh, to take. You know if you fall, get injured, um, and I did see that uh, you know emergency response can take to about an hour. So if he was to you know break a leg or have any or get you know get punctured by a, uh, you know a stick or anything, um, you know he could bleed out. Um, you know, in these woods, so very, you know, dangerous kind of uh, move here to go get this arrow. So he actually begins to climb up this tree. And participants, participants are only given nine, nine arrows. So if you, you know, lose a couple of these during your time, you may be down to, you know, never know when it, um, you know, may come in handy. I know that a couple of other participants have lost arrows, so they're down um, a couple um, and so the, these arrows are vital to, you know, shoot a bear because it's going to take a couple of those to bring him down. So, uh, so he begins to climb this tree here and then we actually hit, uh, a commercial break. So, uh, and that's kind of where, you know, our first commercial break of the, the day kind of, uh, starts, but, um, he is able to, um, uh, get the retrieve the arrow there you know they always do um you know a dramatic kind of scene before commercial but he just slips a little bit nothing uh you know too major coming out of the commercial break um and he kind of digs into his past and um uh, you know his mother and pretty much how he's he's kind of been fighting his whole life and he doesn't really feel alone out here which um you know that's big when it comes to your mental toughness, thinking about loved ones. Um, and he, he pretty much went into saying that he doesn't uh, feel alone out here. And, um, and he's actually one of my favorites to win. Um, and he has been from the start to a few, um, 
you know, look up some some of the odds uh, for the beginning. Uh, he's he's definitely has, and you know, he's he's been an ex um, like special forces guy, so he you know he knows uh, you know how to handle how to handle himself, and uh, he's got the background of being a doctor too as well. So um, you know, he's he's definitely got all the tools there to make it, and when you have the um, you know when you have the the mindset of you're not alone. You kind of this is kind of your survival um, can definitely help out. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna share the screen here again. Here we are. So Twojin climbs up the tree here. He's able to get his arrow. So here, here's him kind of digging into his past here, talking about it. And so then we go to uh, day 29 and it's Tom and he's, he is actually up pretty early to hunt these, these beavers. He's going to, he's going to try to hunt this beaver uh, and he's going to wait on this beaver. And then um, he's just waiting his time out. And let's see. and he actually and he actually spots the beaver. There's his beaver right here. Uh, so he spots his beaver in the water, waiting around, and he's just now waiting for the best shot to get this this beaver here. So there he is. There's, there's that beaver sticking his head up here. He's got the arrow ready to go. And he's going to make the shot, and that's um, you know that's usually how. Once again. Um, you know, kind of the commercial break hits again. So we'll have another one coming up. And so he's going to shoot this beaver. He, and then he he hits that beaver, but it goes underwater. And he cannot locate this beaver. He has no idea where it went. And he's pretty disappointed. Uh, he's mad at himself as uh, a shot that he usually said he wouldn't take if he was anywhere else. But he, you know, he really needs food to, you know, kind of uh, survive. So um, he's kind of disappointed in himself. And now he's got to find this. He doesn't know if he hit the beaver. He doesn't know if he missed. He has no idea. Um where this beaver is located at. And so he's been searching for this. And he's basically going to wait it out and see if he can see if this beaver pops up. Um, and so he just kind of waited out there and look and look and look until this, this beaver pops up. And so then we go to day 29, back to Terry here. From Homer, Alaska, he's back in over to his smoked meat, and he usually smokes. He usually smoked this meat for about twenty hours, um, and he is. It's happy. He is. He is grateful. Man, he's he's a happy camper here uh, with his smoked jerky. So uh, he is loving it. He's ready to eat, and he gets a, a nice little starts getting his meal ready. There he is cooking that up, and he's he's and he and he like I said boy, boy they're they're using every everything so he's boiling the fat and uh right here and it's gonna be you know like a protein drink for him. That's basically what uh, you know he's kind of doing there. So 36 degrees here, looks like at about day 30. And uh, we actually move into over to uh, Jesse, who's still building, uh, you know, her main cabin here. Um, and, and so uh, still working on her, on her shelter. She's currently putting up the walls in her permanent shelter. And uh, she's lost about 30 pounds. So She's been putting a lot of energy into this shelter here. 
um, you know, building the walls, building the roof, and hasn't really been focusing on food. And she's went into that um, and diving into that. But um, so she has some work to do. I don't know if she's, you know, kind of on. Maybe she's, you know, playing the slow game here. But um, she says she's she's pretty hungry and she's almost time for her to move into her shelter. So she's almost done here. And so then we move into day 30 with uh, Juan Pablo. And he is um, focusing on fishing. And that's going to be his main source of food uh, moving forward. And he finds a crack in his rod here. So uh, the fish are not biting. And so now he needs to do hunting. And as he's hunting, we see uh, there again is a crack in his rod. There, there's his there's his pier he's made. Nice pier there. Let's see if I can get a shot. But he spots a weasel. That's our first weasel appearance of the show um i'm trying to see if there's there's a grouse there. there's a grouse that he spotted I'm trying to see if i can find the weasel here may not be able to find him but If he's somewhere in there, there's uh, the weasel, but um, he does shoot a grouse near his shelter. Uh, he spots a grouse, wants to shoot um, his grouse, but he loses it and he cannot find this grouse. So a um, little bit of a loss there for him, you know, when it because he's really wanting, um, you know, food and those kind of things. Um, but he cannot, uh, find that grouse and he doesn't feel good about it. He, you know, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't want the animals to suffer. And so it weighs on them on a bit. So, uh, after killing this grouse, so, uh, we'll see how that comes into play later on in the episode. Go back to, uh, Tomosian J uh, day 30. He, in, he sees a grouse. Here in the afternoon, ends up shooting that grouse. Then he spots another grouse. So uh, already got two in one day. And then um, this is this is his tone here, this Timogen. And um, there's that grouse. There's that grouse he shot. There's one of them. Uh, but he ends up shooting three grouse uh, this afternoon. So big win for him. There's that grouse again. He ends up killing three of these. And so he begins to clean these grouse, get them cooked up. And that's going to be a meal for a couple of days. So big win there, nailing, you know, three uh, grouse there. So. There's a little tidbit there. Participants are given uh, rubber gloves in their emergency kits. So there's a reason why he's wearing rubber gloves. But he's skinning up that um, those grouse there. So and now we move back over to. Uh, We went over to uh, Jesse. She's continuing to build her shelter. Um, let's see. She and kind of, yeah, there we go. There's the snow. So a little bit of snow in the higher elevations here. She noticed on the side of the mountain, the snow is arriving. So obviously it's getting colder there. Um, you know, 
there in Canada. So uh, the snow's coming. So they're not far away from uh, the snow arriving. So she needs to get um, her shelter ready and finish her roof. And she's actually going to be moving into her shelter the very next day. So uh, day 32 is when she'll be moving in. So she's getting that finished up with the walls and the roof. And there's her like fire pit there. Um, and there's a there's a vent there. You can see the light. And so, uh, she, for her move in, she wants to um, get a good meal. But then, yeah, there's a she gained about thirty pounds prepared for this competition. She knew she would lose you know lose that those pounds quickly. And there she is fixing that roof there. So very nice shelter that she's built. So she can get moved in there, you know, get some food. Uh, she's in good shape. So moving to, uh, to Terry, day 31. Uh, and he's basically just kind of appreciating the land and um, does a, you know, just kind of soaking it all in here. Um, is what uh, kind of he's doing here and basically does kind of a dedication to his mom um, about how much uh, he, he means to her. And that's kind of what this segment kind of rolls into here. So here's a, more of the dedication from Terry. He gets kind of emotional, you know, during this whole thing uh, as well. But just beautiful scenery all around. This is just magnificent land here. We still got seven people here. 38 degrees on day 31. Go back to Timojin, uh, brushing his teeth here. Uh, he does notice a little bit of bleeding uh, in his gums, which um, that is a sign of malnutrition. So there you go, bleeding gums be your own sign of malnutrition. Um, and so now he begins to make a second um, shelter near the beach. He's gonna smoke his meat and also make it a, a shelter where he can stay. So a smokehouse and a shelter. So that's pretty cool. So he's gonna to begin to um, smoke up this grouse and get the meat ready. And so he starts building this shelter here. Cutting some logs. And uh, we move into day 32, back over to um, Jesse, who is um, moving into her new shelter today, and she's going to work on fishing. So her moving day, she's going to try to get her a good meal. And so she begins to take down her old shelter here put up her tarp on her new shelter and finish moving in. So there it is. It's a good little, good little shelter there. And she begins to fish. And unfortunately it is not a successful day of Jesse fishing. And she's pretty disappointed that she didn't catch anything because she wanted a celebratory meal. Um, to eat. And so she did not get any food today, but we'll see what happens at a later date. And then we move into day 33, back up for Juan Pablo. And here's a squirrel who's, you can tell, working hard here, getting acorns, branches ready, cutting, cutting limbs, getting ready for winter. So obviously with the snow being shown on the side of the mountain, and, this, and the animals kind of getting ready. Um, they're getting prepared for winter. So 
Um, and as he is, uh, you know, just kind of roaming the land, trying to find something, he does find a piece of the grouse that he shot, that he thinks he shot. Uh, and it is mauled by another animal. So um, another animal got to this one. And, um, and he just he just doesn't know. He hopes that, the, you know, the animal didn't suffer. And, he's, and then he spots his friend, the weasel, again. Sees the weasel. Uh, the, the weasel actually tries to take uh, some of this food. There, there, there's the weasel right there. There it is. Almost tries to take his grouse, and um, he then decides to shoot this weasel. There he is. Shoots the weasel right there, and he feels kind of bad about killing this, you know, killing this animal. Um, and this is when he starts to think about, you know, his girlfriend, where, uh, where he'd be without her. So he's kind of contemplating everything, the weasel killing on the grouse and um, basically says that this is, he doesn't, you know, he needs the money. And he is, this is it for him. This is to get all the money. And he, he's not going to tap out until he, he wins. So um, that's kind of where he, you know, he stands at the end of the show. And this is where it ends. So we get the credits here. Uh, no eliminations this episode. And I'll do a little uh, animal count here through episode six. We have seen one bear. We did hear a whiskey jack. We did not see the whiskey jack. So one whiskey jack, one rabbit, one weasel, three seals, three beavers, 11 squirrel, 12 grouse, and 36 brook trout. So those are the stats on that. Uh, definitely want to thank you again for joining me on this uh episode six wrap-up show and as you know on history channel every thursday 9 p.m there'll be a new episode on the history channel for alone so check it out uh i will see you in the next episode so i will get the episode seven uh show here done as well and give you a little wrap-up have you a great uh rest of the day god bless